So hi Aquarius. Uh, it's Elle here to do a random read. So this reading is about that other person. Whoever, whomever you're coming to the reading for, for this to this tarot card reading, somebody wants to tell you something. And they keep tripping over their words. They keep tripping over the, you know, what to say, how to say it. This might be someone who disappointed you in the, the recent past. This is someone who probably thinks that you don't want to hear from them. Or that they don't want to be scolded by you. Or they know that you speak the truth. I just saw the Queen of Swords. And they don't like truth because we all know the saying, truth hurts, okay? So this is the other person reading. Let's see what's going on with them. What's the issue for the other person? Two of swords. So they're at a place of opposition. They don't know which way to go. There is indecision. Because a decision has to be made. It may be in regards to money. It may be in the in regards to the lack of money. It may be in regards to material possessions. This is something that they do habitually every single day. They could be striving to accomplish something, but feeling loss, a bit of indecision, yeah. They may have a business or idea for a business and it's making them restless in their current position they also may want to reach out to you once again they feel as if you're very independent uh, cross-cultural um, knowledgeable understanding a person that they can level with a person that can bring them out of the two of swords type of energy a person that is uh, well traveled, a person who's abundant. What's going on with this person? Prince of Pentacles. They may want to tell you something about themselves. You know, it's I or what I've been doing with myself. Or I want to something about them something that has something to do solely with them and not with maybe a connection they're in or, or something of that nature they want to express to you something this is a message Prince of Pentacles maybe that uh, they want to grow something either with you or they're trying to grow something in their life Yeah, two of pentacles. How they're juggling. Maybe even money and finance. Like, how maybe the decision that they made to not choose you is causing them to, to have lack, to be struggling, to, to be juggling, to have to draw from and pull from and move over and have to find balance within their finances. There could also be a child here, young adult or, or someone that is not fully mature with money. They're still finding themselves with someone who doesn't act mature especially in regards to what is tangible what is what is money and how this person has them juggling they want to express something to you yeah that maybe um, 
I don't, I'm feeling as if they want to talk to you about how to get something off the ground, whether it's a business or they want to talk to you about business. They want to talk to you about their financial business. They want to talk to you about some partnership. The wheel is turning for them and with the wheel being with the two of pentacles, it may be turning badly in, a, in the wrong direction. King of Pentacles. They could be, like I said, could be a business owner. They could be, a, there could be a turn in business. They could feel as if they made the wrong decision in regards to a business deal, a love affair that they decided to, to take up. Where there's a lot of obligation, not a lot of love, but a lot of obligation. We have one, two, three, four pentacle cards. What else is going on with this person? Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. They're doing a lot to to remain afloat, to get something off the ground, to stabilize some energy. With you, they may have felt like it was stable. They felt like you were a doer. You had the thought. You moved on the thought. What is what is the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles? The Six of Swords. They feel like you knew how or you know how to how to get things done incrementally. Like you know how to make small achievements every single day. This person wants advice in regards to what's going on in their life. In regards to some partnership, some connection. Some love affair, some business deal that may not be favorable or feasible for them right now. What does this person want from the Aquarius? What do they want to tell the Aquarius? The world. They know that you're knowledgeable. You're mature. They can level with you. They want to reason with you. They want another chapter, another start with you. They want to close out the past and go into this new chapter. What else is, do they want with Aquarius? The moon. They want to tell you that maybe they acted in a bit of delusion. Maybe this person or this business deal or this business or whatever it may be had them delusional about how they felt about you. They repressed feelings because there was someone either practicing some type of magic, some type of active delusion. Yeah, they want to tell you how much they love you, that it was repressed, that they want a new start with you. Wow, Ace of Swords. They want to. They finally want to have victory with you. Like um, a real trying start. They want to put their best foot forward. They want you to listen to what they have to say and trust what they have to say. They want you to allow for a reconciliation. Can we begin again? Can we start to recreate the love, the likeness, the dating, the courtship? They want to communicate that to you. They may communicate that by way of doing something for you or, or how they act around you or displaying emotion. 
for the emperor that they want to be your provider that they want to be the man that's the, that's manly energy sorry guys if if you're not here about a man uh they want to be the man in your life they want to be that masculine energy they want to have roots with you maybe even children home that they may be walking away from some merger they merge life love intimacy sex big business inheritance loans mortgages things of those natures investments with someone else and they could be walking away from that seven of pentacles because they are reevaluating where they are also reevaluating the relationship that they had with you reevaluating some contract some marriage some relationship or all together all three of those things evaluating what part they played in this how they let themselves be duped in some sense. Ten of Swords. How they let themselves be duped. How something caused great disappointment, frustration, feeling backed into a corner, having to fight them their way out, having to rest in that despair because of a tower moment. Because some challenge or some, yeah, a challenge or a, in a relationship, a project, something they were trying to start, it, 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 uh, it came about. And it rocked this relationship, this business to its core. Now they want healing. What comes after the tower, the star? Now they want to come back. I want you to have that healing connection. Or they now realize that with you is the right path. It's the right spiritual path. It's the right path in health. It's just the right path. With you, there is righteousness. They see the star quality in you. What's going on for this other person? Give us some more insight in regards to this other person. Oh my gosh. Okay. They need to keep the faith. They need to keep the faith. Maybe that things will turn around because it's, things may be in a down spiral for them. Maybe because of decisions made. They have a lot of twos. What's going on for this person? Okay. Gracefully aging. They may not be doing that. It came out in reverse. I don't read these cards in reverse. They may be uh, needing to... They're doing a lot. They're doing a lot of working. They're doing a lot of expending a lot of energy, effort, time, money into something. Um, they are Maybe they're not gracefully aging. Because there is no peace. The Six of Swords didn't come up as, until until um, we start talking about how they felt about you. There's no peace. They need peace. They could be leaving, leaving a situation relationship job anything new exercise program yeah this person they're not even taking care of their health this person is stressed is 
bogged down in bad decisions. What's going on with this person? Okay, way too many. They need to be true to themselves. It says be true to your parental care. Either they're parents or they are parents of children or they may be uh, feeling tied to, stuck to a situation because of parental care, needing to care for maybe elderly parents or ailing parents. Self-employment, they're trying to embark on that or they are self-employed. We saw that here. I don't know if it's going too well. Got two more cards. What's going on with this person? Okay, their motivation, end of an era and motivation. It might be lack thereof. No motivation. Let's see. Let's clarify leaving. What is leaving for this person? What are they leaving? Okay, these cards are all the cards are upside down, so magician they're trying to play their cards right in regards to trying to make something happen for themselves the magician trying to change or transform the energy in regards to this is Aquarius Gemini Aries I don't know. Wow in regards to five of cups and the star in regards to trying to get back with you back on the right path you're hesitating before making that decision still looking at what is lost uh wanting restoration wanting renewal seeing your star quality they could be leaving a marriage a long-standing union there might be some drama there is it could be an active love affair where there's more than one party more than two parties excuse me um childishness we did see the page of pentacles maybe as their partner over on the other side this side. um they could be trying to leave and grow Star talks about a journey, a spiritual journey. About knowing that you're exactly where you need to be at the right time, on the right path. The star card talks about having gone through that spiritual journey and knowing that something or someone is right. The star card talks about, of course, healing, restoration. It talks about... Firstly, being right with self, being comfortable with self, and we have be true to you. This person has a long way to go. Self-employment for this person. You got the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups that fell out of the deck. Something could have been done in haste because it made them really happy. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, some male energy. No pre-planning. A lot of pat being passionate about something and feeling like it was going to take them to the highest level of happiness. Yep, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups. Trying to remain balanced and make balanced decisions with this self-employment. They could be, they could do something skilled or they could have some skill about them that they've learned. 
maybe that is unique to them they're very persuasive some of them are contractors that are affiliated with you know big business so it could be a doctor healer practitioner something like that yeah uh, really trying to get this business off of the ground it's something that they're they're 100 percent emo their emotions are tied to it nine of pentacles whatever this is it's making them restless in their current position if your guy if your person hasn't really moved into self-employment they are heavily thinking about it trying to do some work about it possibly going to make some hasty decision in regards to that it may not be the best decision as we saw here end of an era what is ending what is ending for aquarius person for aquarius person that they're coming to the reading for nine of cups they're getting some type of wish fulfilled something that they feel they are without the nines talk about separation the nines talk about being learned being knowledgeable well-rounded deserving about an ending they could be divorcing they could be yet yeah, trying to this is a person trying to do what's right for all parties involved six of swords you know they could be moving away from they're trying to do what's right for all parties involved they feel guilty as if they let something on or they let it on and they've kept it going when it could have been over a long time ago they feel as if a debt needs to be repaid to a particular person it could be you Aquarius or another they're trying to be strong enough to walk away be strong enough to put energy effort time into themselves be strong enough to get out of the mental uh, exercise of feeling stuck they're trying to communicate, maybe verbally communicate about about there being trouble, jealousy in, in some particular fashion. Trying to get out of or off of the hamster wheel that is maybe a particular era or was an era in their life where they were concerned only with shallowness and what was on the surface and sex and not taming themselves in regards to their desires hmm they may this era may be ending because they're at a place of trying to find peace serenity calmness making a choice in their life to have all of those things peace calmness serenity Finding that it's useful, finding a sense of usefulness for themselves too. The star talks, star card talks about being on the right path, knowing the path for you, and being on it. In regards to this person, what should Aquarius do? Should the Aquarius do anything? What's the advice for the Aquarius? What's the advice for the Aquarius? Seven of Water.
Six of air. Seven of earth. Ace of fire. Nine of fire. Aquarius, for some of you, you might need to come out of that illusion, that that fascination, that dream of, and come into reality and make peace with and understand that you got to analyze the data, what is true, what is what is real now, in regards to this relationship, um, and do what's best for you. Evaluate this by stepping away from it energetically. If you're still dealing with this person, you're still talking to them, if you're still engaging, you need a break. Because then that will allow you to come out of some, the mental exercise that you do in regards to this connection. In regards to if you're still having sex with this person, it allows you to detox. So you can understand that, yes, this person makes you happy and they think the world of you. They may have even put you on pedestal, but there's a, still a choice that needs to be made with the devil card. Something in your world, in your life, in regards to this person is changing. It could be changing for the good or for the bad. Whatever it is, you need not to act in extravagance and, and too far to the right or too far to the left. But you need to make the sound choice that puts you first. Because if you make the wrong choice, you might come to a place of feeling trapped, enclosed, uh, stuck to, tied to, bound to this situation. Again, I'm hearing again. Get more information from this person about what their intentions are for you if there are any okay um i think that's all i have for you aquarius um it just was a random read so for some of you to be clear about what this person doesn't or does well you know we'll ask that question What does this person want to offer, Aquarius? Okay. All right. I'll take it. Three of Pentacles, Sun card, Messenger of Water, the Death card, the Fool, and the Magician. They they do love you. They want to offer emotional investment. Like I. You know how I feel about you. You know I love you. This connection makes them happy. It brings a sense of contentment. Uh, you feel a void here. Three of Pentacles, Sun card, Messenger of Water. Uh, they they may want to. Yeah, they want this relationship. It looks like they want it on their terms. They're going to do whatever they can do in order to keep you in their energy. They may say whatever they need to say because losing you is a huge burden. 
and it will be like the loss of a friend a friendship yes they they like you there's a likeness there's an attractiveness but they also look at you as a friend the only offer is that they want to be they want you in their life they want to in invest emotionally get more information in dealing with this person because someone may be wanting to start over with you and trying to or they would say this they want to transform the, the energy the relationship Because they're at a crossroads in regards to their own stability. They may be trying to reduce. I'm going to speak to you about something. About how they feel. About the deep emotion. King of Earth again. Could be dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Could be wanting to speak to you about how they feel left out, lost. Maybe they're experiencing some form of lack, maybe due to divorce, separation, or heartbreak. And how they want to salvage the relationship with you. They're not sure if you'll take to that. Uh, Aquarius, get more information in dealing with this person. Make sure you 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 get what you want out of this and you stand true to what it is you you want from them or you want out of this relationship stay true to your conviction okay Aquarius I hope that this reading helped you out if you feel like you need more information go ahead and book your own reading so we can pull the energy for you and the person that you've come to this reading for to see what it is they really want from you and what you should accept Aquarius know that I'm praying for you for me as well. Take care guys.